right, be careful because some of you in the, in the initial process of this evaluation will look at this negative and say that there's no real answer to this problem. Uh, unfortunately, that's a mistake because the way this should be written really is negative. And then in parentheses would have 9 to the 1 half. And the reason this is is because it doesn't show any parentheses in our original problem. What this means really is that we have a negative 1 and we're going to multiply this by 9 to the power of 1 half. And at this point it doesn't matter where we put the parentheses. Just as long as we understand that this 1 half, the exponent, does not apply to this negative. Now if by chance they had put parentheses around the 9, like this, the negative 9, then yes, you're right, we would have no real answer, but, on, but this problem does not have that. So we will treat it like one of these two scenarios, okay? So keep the negative 1 there, or the negative in front, and then just evaluate 9 to the power of 1 half. So I'm going to keep it written like this, negative 1 times 9 to the power of 1 half, okay? To show that this is two different factors, and then once again, all I need to do is figure out what number squared would give us 9, okay? So we can factor this out. 9 would factor into 3 and 3. Both of these are prime. So we can see that it's 3 squared. And we would multiply then the 2 and the 1 half. And that would give us 3 to the power of 1. And then finally, we just need to multiply these two once again and we get a negative 3. So this is our final answer and we'll go ahead and circle that and there you go. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Again, just be careful with where this negative is. If there's no parentheses, we treat it like this problem. If there are parentheses, then we just have to know where they are in order to know how the one-half is to be applied to the problem. So be careful with those negatives, double-check your work, and we'll see you in the next video.